Hi, I'm Erin Entrada Kelly, the author of several books, including the 2018 Newbery Medal winner, Hello Universe, and I'm here to tell you it's time to shake up your shelves. But first, I want to give a quick visual description for those of you with low vision or blindness. I'm a Filipino-American woman with black hair and bangs, and right now I'm standing in my writing space surrounded by colorful works of art and amazing books, two of my favorite things. I'm wearing a blue shirt with a red button that says, Read the People. So I've written several books. Um, all of them have diverse characters and have themes of otherness, empathy, um, and the power of the small but mighty. But today I want to talk about one title in particular, my first fantasy, Lalani of the Distant Sea. So a quick confession, when I was a young girl I read a ton of books, but I did not read a lot of fantasy. And one reason is because the characters who went on these grand adventures seemed very different from me. They were brave, I was cautious, they were bold, I was quiet, they were chosen, I was average, and more often than not, they were white, and I'm a mixed race Filipino. At a time when I struggled to find even characters who had black hair, much less multi-ethnicity, I came to believe that girls like me really didn't go on adventures, but we both know that is not true. Lalani is not the most beautiful girl in her village. She's not the cleverest or the smartest or the bravest, quite the opposite. So I set this unlikely girl on a journey because of her one power, her power for compassion and empathy. She doesn't find a rabbit hole or a secret door in a wardrobe. She isn't predestined from birth by some unseen force. She chooses herself. She chooses to set out on an adventure because she wants to save her mother and her community, even though her community doesn't always love her back. This is no Western fantasy tale. Lalani is motivated by uh, very deeply held Filipino values like community, family, selflessness, and resilience. The story is told in first, second, and third person because I wanted readers to experience the journey from all angles. And I think we both agree that young people are capable of seeing all sides of a story if we give them the tools to do so. I wish you all the best of luck in shaking up your shelves. Our world is a rich tapestry of many different people. And for many, libraries are a safe space where people can experience the world. And children need to know that they are part of that tapestry and they need to learn how to develop appreciation for others who are part of that tapestry as well.